So there's one thing that people need more than they need any other thing in the world, and it's other people. Before I met the Warlords, I was the kind of person who felt like I had all of the constituent parts to greatness and absolutely no idea how to apply them. I wanted a tribe, and I didn't know that's what I wanted. I was suddenly able to do things that I had spent my entire life hoping that I would eventually have the bravery to do. I was traveling, and I was, I was fighting. I was a 23-year-old girl who had spent my entire life sabotaging myself. And I was in front of 300 people, and they were screaming at me to win. So, when you're fighting, there's this notion that you have to make room for your friends. That if somebody is getting piled on by four other juggernauts in steel, that that person can only hold on until you save them. All my life, I have loved fighting. All my life, okay? I would freaking go out in the backyard and I'd find a stick and I would fight with it. Or I would punch a, I would put a pillowcase and fill it with stuff and then hang it from a tree and punch it, okay? That's the kind of stuff I did when I was a kid. I was considered weird for it, okay? I don't know why that's in me. All I know is it's strong in me. And I'm not saying I'm the greatest because I'm not, but I love it as if I were. I had no self-worth. That's uh, the, the biggest problem that I had. It was the fact that I was letting myself sit in these chains and, and conforming myself to societal norms. Did you want to be part of the commune, you want desperately to feel like you are not an abnormality, but at the same time there's something isolating and sad about working so hard to get here that you don't want to just blend in. It feels like you're losing a part of your identity. There's definitely a, a want to fit in and be cool. And you know the easy way, but you also know the easy way requires a bigger sacrifice than it's worth because they always act like there's no difference between you two. And that's not really fair for anybody involved. Like, like it robs us both of something that we need and that's the ability to learn from each other. It puts up a wall between us and that's kind of what got us into this mess in the first place. The warlords make even the most disenfranchised person able to connect with something that is so much bigger than themselves. They're creating an ecosystem in which these things won't be lost. We don't have a reason to remember what gauge of steel was used in a particular kind of armor from the 14th century unless we're using it right now. And we don't have a reason to ask ourselves why they held the sword a certain way if we are not in this moment capitalizing off that knowledge. We make room for each other. I want to pay this forward because what I found in this sport is an arising of myself.